Hello, Mr. Collier here. This is the third part of the Lab 5A What is a Newton video series. Uh, in this last video, we're going to show you how to make the graph that goes along with this lab. So the first thing you need to know is what's going on which axis. And in your data table here, the weight that you measured from the spring scales is going to go on the y-axis. And the mass that we converted to kilograms is going to go in the x-axis. We measure mass in grams because it's convenient, but we convert it to kilograms because it's the standard for all of our calculations and equations. Your graph is going to be titled weight versus mass. And our x-axis, as it says in part A there, is going to be weight in, nope, sorry, mass in kilograms. Apologies. The mass in kilograms is tricky because we're dealing with these really small numbers. So if you remember your mass in grams, I think it'll make more sense. Uh, our mass in grams was like 20, 30, 40 grams. And so our kilograms is 0 0.020, 0 0.040, and so on. So uh, let's take a look at what we're going to do with that. All right, so as you're making your x-axis here, what we've done is we've gone 0 and then 1, 2, 3, and the fourth line is 0 0.02. To help you kind of think about that, think about it this way. If that 0 0.02 is like your 20 grams that we've converted right to 0 0.020 grams, then each line is like counting by fives. So 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, right? 25, 30, 35, 40. So even though your x-axis is all in these point zero numbers, think of them like they were your grams. And that's especially going to be helpful if you have to graph something that's, for example, 30 grams. Where exactly is that on here? Where's my point zero 0.03? Well, here's my point zero 0.02. 0 0.025, 0 0.03 would be this one right here. Okay. If you need to pause it and uh, copy that axis, go right ahead. I'm going to move on now to the y-axis. The y-axis is the weight which you measured in newtons. And the scale for that is going to look like this. Most of your measurements were decimals of a newton and so what we're going to do is each line is worth 0.1 newtons so 0, 0 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0 0.6 and so on. If you had to graph a for example 0.25 newtons or something like that if the 0.2 is this one and 0.3 is this one then you would go halfway in between those and those should let you then graph all of the data that you have, weight on the y value, mass on the x. And uh, your data might look a little bit different, but the general shape of the graph is going to be something like this, a straight line. As you add mass, the weight goes up, and it's a linear relationship. The slope of this line, which is, uh, you're going to be asked to calculate in the conclusions, is going to be equal to the strength of gravity. And that's it for lab 5A.